tricky part too. So I set the dead bird in the floorboard of the truck. Put all my gear up, get going on down this gravel road, half a mile. Get out on the highway, it's about five miles to check station. I'm cruising along. Get up about 60, 65 miles an hour, just cruising along. Nice highway. And uh, thinking about that hunt, how fast and awesome it was. And look over to admire my bird and his head sticking over the console. And one bloody eye looking at me blinking. Like, my God, that turkey's alive. When my brain thought to reach out and grab that turkey, it exploded. And it exploded to a full, uh, fully alive wild turkey in the cab of my truck. I just hit the brakes and luckily slid through the ditch up the little hill and back down into the bottom of the ditch. All the while, I didn't see nothing. I wasn't doing nothing fighting turkey. Spears and beaks and wings and toenails. And all that, I finally get enough control and shove him into the front wind, into the windshield, get a hand on legs and the head, and pull him down into the floorboard on the other side. And I'm thinking, well, I better not wring his neck. You cannot wring a turkey's neck. Don't even attempt it. You cannot do it. So after that effort, I get a knife and double over his neck and cut his whole head off. Well, that done it. I turned loose. That bone stuck out of the skin and went to squirting blood everywhere. Well, in all this, I just opened the door and shoved everything out on the ground, me included, and let the let him die there. But that turkey tore my truck slam up. He broke a heater knob off. He broke a radio knob off. He broke my rear view mirror off. He gouged holes in my console, the vinyl on the door, and at least four in the roof liner not only cut cut me up i had scratches here and there and everywhere and there was feathers and blood everywhere i mean handfuls upon handfuls of feathers i had to throw out so the lesson in all that was you can shoot a turkey 20 25 yards and not kill him i guess maybe i shot a little high and just maybe the lowest pellets of that string thumped him on the brain and knocked him out but it was a solid 15 minutes before he came to when I carried him to the truck, his head was like that. Dead turkey's head just flops random, just wild. But I picked up on that and didn't realize it. When I folded his head into his wing, it was like a cold, stiff dead bird, not a fresh bird. Pay attention to them until you know they're fully dead.